Hi, welcome to another edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. I'm your host, Rich Harrington, and this week we're going to take a look at two tools that are very similar. We'll try out the Healing Tool, which is a great way to fix blemishes in an image, and then the Patch Tool, which uses the same technology as the Healing Tool, but accesses it in a slightly different way. Let's see how. So our first image here is in pretty good shape, but our flower has some blemishes in it where there are holes. If we were to use a tool like the regular clone stamp tool and attempt to clone this image, it would work okay, but there would still be a very visible pattern. Let's set that to 100% and paint. You see what it creates there is a strange pattern. Let's go ahead and undo this. We'll go back to the open state. And instead of using the clone stamp, we're going to switch up here and use the healing brush tool. Now you have the spot healing tool, which will attempt to look around the blemish and fill it in for you. This tool is okay, but sometimes produces unintended results. Let's click here. You see it sampled a little bit too big and created a very blurry pattern. Instead of using that tool, let's switch to the healing brush tool, which allows us to manually select our source point. I'll go ahead and option click here to set a source point and then heal. And as we paint here, it's like the clone tool, but when you release, it actually blends that material together. So you see it becomes easier to hide a blemish because of that blending. Let's try again here, option click to sample and go forward. And when we release, you'll see how that blends. And so the nice thing about that tool is it attempts to blend the original pixels and the new pixels together, creating a more seamless transition between the two. And there you go, you see that we've already managed to fix pretty much all of those errors. Let's go here for this last little bit. And when we release, notice how it automatically adjusted and darkened down to match the original exposure of the material. And that's what I like about this tool, is it attempts to intelligently blend the pixels together, preserving the relationship of values like luminance in the original image. And that did a nice job. So this tool is very similar to the clone tool, but should be used when you have some pixel detail. If you have no information whatsoever, like it's over white or you're trying to extend an area, then use the clone tool. But in the case here where you have pixel data, you just want to change what's there, the healing brush works very well. Now, similar to the healing brush is the patch tool. Let's switch to an image where this will work well. The patch tool requires you to make a selection of which area you'd like to patch. So an easy way to do this is just with the lasso tool. I can go ahead in this case here and circle around these forgotten sandals and just make initial rough selection. We then switch to the patch tool, which is located in the same bay there. And what I want to do is specify that I want to patch this source material. So I select patch the source selection. And then we drag off to an area that's good. We just find a place on the beach where the sand looks pretty good. Ideally somewhere near where we started. And when I let go, it blends together. Let's do that here for this garbage on the ground. I'll get rid of the cup and we'll do it up here for the trash as well. Just make an initial rough selection and drag, and you'll see that it blends those together seamlessly. Now, you're not going to get a perfect sand here, but we can go ahead and take care of the most obvious distractions. And the patch tool itself actually has a lasso in it. So you could freeform and drag a selection or use any other selection tool first. And you see what we've done there is we've managed to remove the trash and blemishes out of the sand, creating a cleaner photo. So both of those tools use the same underlying technology to take new pixels and blend them in while preserving luminance and certain key details of the original pixels. The end result is a more seamless blend of the new pixels, creating a nice patch or blend there. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. I'm your host, Rich Harrington, and I invite you to visit our resource blog at rastervector.com where you can check out our back episodes as well as download bonus tutorials and free content. Thanks again.